From Snapchat face filters to virtual reality headsets, AR and VR have been around for a while. But these technologies aren't just for fun. More recently, companies have been exploring how AR and VR can be used to let consumers try their products virtually. Think of the Warby Parker app, which allows you to try on glasses virtually through the screen, or furniture companies that allow you to render images of items in your home. At the same time, the cost of implementing this kind of experience can be pretty high. So for retailers, is it worth it? Srini Basreddy, a visiting professor at Northwestern University's Kellogg School of Management, gives us his take. Now, the consumers are using or testing and buying shades which are unusual. For example, typically you would not see a woman buying a green lipstick or a green shade or a blue shade. So people are willing to experiment because they can see clearly what it looks like on their lips. And so they're trying that out. And they're also willing to spend on brands which are a little bit more expensive. So that normally they would not have done, right? Because now they're able to learn from the experience what it looks like. Yeah. The big takeaway? Trying before buying used to be a thing of the past, but trying virtually before buying without ever having to leave your home might just be the new normal. If you're interested in learning more, listen to the latest episode of Tech at Work wherever you get your podcasts.